Alright, welcome in everybody. So I was going to try to get a cool picture on the cliffside here last night <coughs> for the thumbnail. But I literally destroyed my truck every time I uh, every time I tried to attach to the tree here. Oops, it's in neutral. Like I was pulling it up. Except I had it on the front end. And it just kept... I was taking damage left and right. Except now it actually seems like it might be working a little bit. Nope, now we're, now we're done. This tree's a little bit too far back, but anyways. So yeah, my truck is like completely destroyed from that. I'm actually, let's see if we can... Yeah, I've already used up all my repair points. Alright, so we have, I think, five missions left. Welcome in, Isaiah. How are you doing today? Pumped it into neutral. Oh no, the gearbox is like broken, so it keeps bumping itself into neutral. Got it. Um, let's turn it off then. So you have to go explore over here. This is the map we have the least amount of uh, exploration done on. So we have a lot of work to do on this one. Oops, I thought I was on trucks. Niet, how are you doing lessons? You doing good? I'm also doing good. Hello, Hunter. So I think I'm going to try and just knock out these last expeditions here. Maybe go into Carpathians. We'll probably come back and do some more stuff later. Um, as far as the last remaining... Um, tasks and contracts, and probably maybe a few upgrades. I think we have most of them. Oops. But not quite all of them. Hello, Robert. Send it. We gotta get down the cliff faster than this game allows. There we go. No, I just, I, I bought a bunch of jack screws because I was planning on staying here for quite a while to do a bunch of tasks, but now I kind of just want to knock out the expeditions and then move on to Carpathians for a bit. It's been a few days since I've been there anyways. I think we've been doing like the last four or so streams have been pretty much here only, so. I do like this region a little bit better as far as the looks and the uh, sort of the, how you play it kind of goes. Like it's... A little less hilly, it's more like plateaus. Hello Claude, welcome in. Just enjoying a cold popsicle, nice. It's supposed to snow here, I actually haven't looked outside to see if it is snowing, but... It's supposed to snow here tonight, or today, tomorrow, like a little bit over the night, so like past midnight to like 3 or 4 in the morning, something like that. Oof. And then... It's supposed to snow here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Which we've only had probably like six snowfalls all year, so to have four of them in like a week is going to be kind of different. We pretty much had no snow on the the, uh, the ground the entire, uh, entire winter. There was only like one real snowfall where it had like four inches. And then it was gone in like two days because it was really warm. And then we had another snowfall where it was like four days in a row. And then it it was all like a, a half inch each day and then it was all gone after like two days again. So basically the entire year has been snow free. Yeah, it checks out. Forecast Stone has snow on top. <laughs> nice. It's already spring here in Texas. Do the mission lead into other maps? Or it's just random, I haven't paid attention. Uh, yeah, they do. 
or I should say a few of them do. That's how you have to unlock the outposts on the other maps lessons. Uh, basically there's one mission that leads to another map from each map. So like, you'll start out on Grand Canyon, then you'll go into this this map, Wawi Bay, with a mission, and it'll create an outpost here. And then all your other missions will be either in in the Grand Canyon and they'll all stay there, or they'll all be in Wawi Bay or they'll all, and they'll all stay there. They don't really... After that one single mission that they have you go to the other map, they don't... As far as I've had, they haven't had me go... Uh, back to the other maps again. So it's like one mission to create a garage, if you will. And then... Once you get the garage, all your missions start from there. I probably should go get that. I was going to not, but... Maybe should. Here you had humidity all the time. Negative 5 Celsius at home. Uh, 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is creeping in. Animals are rutting. Nice. I have never been to Texas, which is where uh, Isaiah is from. Never been to... Or, excuse me. I've never been to Florida, which is where Isaiah is from. Never been to Texas, which is where Lessons is from. Never been to Quebec, which is where Claude is from. Actually, let's uh, fix up the truck here. And yet we're good. Alright, so random question. Have any of you guys ever been to Arizona? Just because that's where we're uh, currently in expeditions, that's where we're at in Arizona. Okay. Man, we got a long way to go. We gotta go this way. Crap. Because we gotta go all the way down to here. Go here, cross over to here, and then go that way. Never been there, Isaiah? Okay. What part of Quebec? I'm not sure where exactly he's out of. Uh, Kevin, where are you from? I don't know if I've asked you that. Maybe I have. Hello, Wild Fox. Long time no see. I think I could go up. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. I think we could go up, but the route back down might be kind of tough. So we're probably better off just going around this down. Alright, fair enough. Hello, Spoon. Welcome in. The desert is beautiful. Yeah, I like this map. As far as the looks go, I think this one looks a little bit better. Maybe it's just that it looks different than uh, Carpathians, but... I don't know. It's a really fun map. Carpathian's just, it's, it's, it reminds me a little bit more of the other maps, how it's just kind of a lot of trees and mountainous, whereas this one's more desert. So it's just got a different feel to it. What is our mission? Our current mission is to explore an archaeological dig site. So it says get digging tools and then uh, oh, one archaeological set. Then we have to explore an area and while exploring the area, we uh, we are supposed to be looking for a Triceratops, I think, actually. Like an old dinosaur, basically. So yeah, it should be hopefully a cool one. I mean, we've, I was just saying this yesterday, I think it was, that I wish they had more missions to deal with the dinosaurs, so we might be on another one. Hello, Translavania. Oh, you're from Ontario, okay. Hello, Ontario. Ontarian? I actually don't even know what you call them. Looks like we gotta build a bridge here.
back up a bit. There we go. I live in Carpathian, so I can tell you about that, not the Arizona region. Yeah, if I remember, you said you live in Romania, I think. Mm, let's back up a bit. All I know is it's barbecue time, and we're going alligator and gar fishing. Nice. I've never seen an alligator or a gar in real life, just in videos. Old fat crocodiles are semi-related to dinosaurs, if I remember correctly. Yes, indeed, from Romania, okay. I just remember the, the Transylvania part. For some reason, it kind of sticks in my head that you were from Romania. Um, it's supposed to snow there, too. Evening, hello. Welcome, Mateo. They're not pretty. Buenas tardes. Okay, I think we are. No, oh, I didn't. Uh, didn't delete that part. So we got to go over here. It looks like we probably want to go around and up. Would be my guess. Good man, slow and relaxing. Hippos are related to your. Arch Nemesis. The Arch Nemesis is a sister. Where did that one come from? But yeah, Kevin is supposed to snow where you're at too. Must be uh, headed up north then. You're just back from a six hour board meeting? Oh my god. Right, did they actually last that long? I mean, I've had like a two hour meeting before, but six hours, that is crazy. I don't know if we should go up here, but it looks like it's a nice path and it's probably, I have a feeling it's gonna be up here somewhere. Whoa. You watch me every night? Uh, since I started playing Expeditions, uh, but sorry that I'm not active in the chat because I watch you on your stream or you watch the stream on TV. No worries. I appreciate you stopping in. All right, I think we are. Yeah, we're we're in a pretty good spot here. I think. Let's uh, throw up the drone. All right, so there's supposed to be some. Two, oh, there is. There's the tools right there. It looks like there's an airdrop right here. If I had the drone that could trade, we could take this, but I think I picked the other one. Yeah, I definitely did. Six hours pure pleasure, I'm sure, yeah. We had a lot to discuss here. Glad it's over, I bet. That is a really long meeting. I listen every day on my commute to work. Nice. We're at 68, 71. Not really sure how we're doing. It's, looks like it's still going up. I probably missed quite a bit up around the edges. Let's go back and check. Yeah, we gotta go over here a little bit. And then it looks like over... Actually, let's go this way. Oops. We'll start here and then go up and around, sort of, uh, I think that should give us the rest of what we need as far as percentage goes. Nice to see how all of you tune in, definitely. Currently playing Expeditions on the Switch and got a PC, got it on PC as well, both premium. Oh really, Robert, you must really like the, uh, 
exploration. Must have wanted a um, sort of a mobile, a mobile way to play it. I'm guessing with the uh, Switch version as well. 98, 99. There we go. Okay, so it looks like we can climb up on this side. It's a matter of getting over here and up. Oh, it looks like you can get up over there. Okay, so maybe I'm climbing up the wrong side. Let's check this back out. Board meetings, I don't miss those. Full of false pleasantries. Wondrous rhetoric. Is there... I mean... I guess you could get up here, but definitely looks like I should go the other way. So let's turn back around. What is objectively the best toilet paper you can buy? Anyone care to guess? I remember when toilet paper was gold back in the pandemic days. Robert, uh, how far are you on the uh, two, two... I was going to say separate saves, but they're separate systems even. Or are they somehow connected? Have you like been able to transfer the save file or some something? Hunter, do you recommend it? I hear it's good, but a little too open. Valhalla felt repetitive. I missed Hunter's other one. Where was that? Oh, this desert reminds me of Assassin's Creed Origins. Okay. I used to play all of the Assassin's Creed games, but they started to get like too much stuff to do that I didn't have enough time for. I wasn't a big fan when they kind of opened it up, um, but I still have, I have Origins, I have Valhalla, um, I have ba like all, I have one, let's see, let me try and think of it in order, we have, I have one, two, Brotherhood, Revelations, was it three, four, no, three, Rogue, uh, Rogue and, was it Rogue and Unity, I think? And Syndicate and four, they're definitely out of order at this point, but, um, and then Origins. So I have all of those ones. And I have Valhalla as well. I think I missed the most recent one. I, oh, I definitely don't, don't have the most recent one, but I think I might have missed another one that was uh, maybe a year or two ago. I'm not sure. Maybe I do have them all. Well, all besides the most recent one, Mirage. But I've only beat the first couple, or probably the first half, like five or six. I never beat Rogue, I never beat Syndicate. Um, I think I actually did beat Origins. Never beat Valhalla. Origins is awesome, but Valhalla I didn't like. Yeah, I think when they started getting to the big open world, sort of, like, more of a RPG-ish kind of thing, I didn't really like it. I shouldn't say I didn't really like it, but I liked it better the other way. Alright, let's deflate the tires here. So I would I would say I'm on board with Hunter's, uh, Hunter's thing there. I prefer to play Origins over Valhalla, probably. Alright, let's grab this. Perfect, we have one inventory slot. Now we gotta go either to this spot or that spot. I'm guessing it's the higher spot, right? Looks like we can go up and around. Actually, looks like we probably have to come up on the back side, so... Might have to go up here, up this way. Let me mark this. Something like that, maybe? I miss the useless meeting days. Would love to turn my brain off for a change. Thanks for the recommendation, bud. I'll check back on sale. Black Flag has a really good rep. Black Flag was fun. That was kind of the first, uh, like, well, uh, I guess 
Yeah, the first one with like ships and kind of pirates and stuff. I know Valhalla has a little bit of that. They kind of like the open world idea, but they need to keep to the stealth. Did anybody here actually play the first one when that came out way back in like 07? I still remember watching videos on it in like 05 or 06. And uh, they had like... I, I specifically remember the Abstergo screen coming up during the uh, like... I think it was E3 or something when they did it. And they're like, well, we're not going to talk about what's on the screen behind us or whatever. And we were all kind of just like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, it's, you know, part of the game and development. We had no idea that Desmond Miles would be, like, a whole thing. Like, I just thought it was all, like, you know, middle-aged fighting or whatever. So that was a really good surprise. And actually, I preferred the storyline of Desmond other than, or, you know. That was actually more intriguing than the actual, uh, or than the sort of middle, uh, middle-aged fighting or whatever. So it's really cool that they were able to tie that in. Oh dang, this is more steep than I thought. Let's throw one of these out. Sorry guys, minor sneeze attack again. Alright, let's uh, lower the pressure here, let's see if we can get up here. You love Assassin's Creed 2? Yeah, Assassin's Creed 2 is a lot of fun. I remember that came out, coming out in 2009. This one's a little bit further up there. Alright, that's not, not going to work, it looks like. I'm going to try again at a slightly different angle. Come on, you got this. Oh, no. Oh, what is going on? Did my game just freeze? What the heck was that? I, uh... Yeah, I think my game froze. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta close out of that. Alright, start that back up. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I would always tell them, we're logical men, be straightforward with your message, only immature fools and children speak in loops and riddles. Dude, that's, that's what they're all about. Um, that brought a tear to my eye lessons. I'm clapping over here. Don't worry, brother. Our kind still lingers in the shadows. JJ, can I ask about the desert map? Is it an American map in real? Uh, yes, it is, Hunter. It is based on the United States state of, um, Arizona. Uh, it's sort of down by, um... Lessons there by Texas, by California. It's right next to California. Uh, by Nevada. I think it borders like Colorado. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I know it's down there somewhere. Huh. It said the program stopped running as soon as it opened up. That's nice. Had to close out again. Okay. Apparently... We got some issues today, guys. Boy was one. Boy, I was one. Yeah. That's the one thing I forget to do is the tires. Gotcha. 
Etsy Auditori, uh, storyline was amazing in AC2 and the locations. I know Venice, Florence quite well. They did a really good job of capturing the essence. So how's our big chief today? Doing well, thank you, Matt. How are you doing? Or, is it okay if I call you Matt? Because I know your name's Matteo. Or, I don't know how, how exactly you say it, but... Um, I know it's more of a uh, UK name. I've seen it a few times. Okay, here we go. Back into it, I guess. No, he's frozen, Matt. Uh, y button is still glowing. I think we were almost up there, too. Like, we finally had it where it was, like, sort of working. On the climb. Oh, that, there we go. Now, apparently, it's going right up. No, I want to get the further one. There we go. Happy to be called Matt? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Am I stuck on a rock or something? Okay. Bug? Yeah, we've had a few bugs. Um, usually the drone. The drone has crashed it like four times when you go too far out with the drone. That was the first time that it's actually like froze just driving around. I've never had that one before. And then it crashed immediately upon opening it. I don't know if it's... I mean, it could be something with my computer, but it only froze the game. It didn't freeze the whole computer, so I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. Otherwise, I'd have to restart the stream as well. I'm assuming this one's it on the top of the, uh, the hill here, right? Oh, we gotta search for... I didn't even read the top right. We gotta look for dinosaur footprints with a drone. Like, how does that one make any sense? You can clearly see exactly where the footprints are in that little circle. And yet the, the green zone is, like, covering half a footprint. Completely missing all the rest. Same with that one. Like, you're, you're catching, like, the edge of one footprint. Why would you make that the green circle? I'm sorry, that's dumb. Just calling it like it is. That is dumb. Um, but yeah, I, I really liked Assassin's Creed 1. I know, like, if you go back and play it now, it's, it's, like, it has a whole different feel to it, because it's like, wow, this game is, like, really restrictive and repetitive, kind of, but at the time it was, like, so much different and cool. Um, AC2 was good, 3 was good, 4 was good. Um, I liked Brotherhood and Revelations as well. Revelations got kind of weird, but, like, I think Revelations had some weird, uh, Maybe it wasn't Revelations, it might have been Brotherhood, but they have like different sort of mini games or whatever in there, which is kind of cool. Like you could like hire assassins to go out and do stuff. I don't know, they, they all have their own kind of thing. They were kind of experimenting with different things there for a while. Alright, let's see. We don't need any- oh, we got the reusable one. Let's just throw- oh wait, someone said we can trade it if we hold it? Oh, really? Okay. So yeah, if you tap on it, you can't transfer, but you can exchange it. So even if your inventory is full, you can still switch stuff, which is kind of cool. So, I don't remember who told me that, but thank you. Good to know. Alright, let's see where can we get down on this thing. I mean, it's probably over here. You prefer Bayek? Storyline music of Origins is awesome. Yeah, I think that was one of the ones that I beat all the way, so I... Because they started to come out with them too too quickly for me. I mean, it basically became a yearly thing after, like, 09, I think it was. They had one in 09, 10, 11, 12, like, every year. Um, 
But yeah, I, I didn't beat Rogue. I never beat... Um, I never beat Unity. So I gotta beat Rogue, Unity... Um, Syndicate. And Valhalla. And then... Uh, What's the newest one again? I said it earlier. Um, Mirage. So I think I have to beat five of them. I beat one, two, Brotherhood, Revelations, three, four. And Origins, I think? I'd have to like see the list of the games again to kind of think of it all, but yeah. I think I beat like six out of the uh, 11 or so. The best one was Black Flag. You like that one? I had a feeling they were going to do it up in the mountains here. See that one? You're almost you're missing basically two full footprints. Okay, there we go. That one's missing some more footprints. Stage complete. Brotherhood was good also. Odyssey was good. Oh, that's right. I have Odyssey too. I never beat that one as well. So I have, I have to beat... Um, the, of the ones that I have would be Rogue, Unity, um, Odyssey, and Syndicate, I think. I don't have Mirage. I never bought that one. I just, I didn't have, I never beat a lot of the older ones, like, because the first couple ones, like I said, I beat them all, like, one, two, Brotherhood, Revelations, three, four, um, I beat all of those ones, but then it, it kind of got to be too much for me to beat the other ones, so I didn't buy, uh, the most recent one, Mirage. Alright, I think this is it for the, uh, expedition, so I was planning on just finishing this, but... Oh wow, look at that! That's awesome. So there is at least two dinosaur missions. Alright, somebody does not understand. I guess we'll try and do a couple of these. We have a ton of stuff with us, so... It just makes sense to... Pick up small bone from the excavations. Okay, well... I guess it's a good thing we uh, started this one, because we... Wait, where do we bring it back to, though? Also, why is our map flipped completely upside down? Deliver the small bone from the... Excavations? Where am I delivering it, though? Up here? No. Huh. I gotta deliver it right there, it looks like. Maybe? Yeah, that's where it's telling me to go, okay. Well. You played Origins, but could not hook on. Yeah. Yeah, I really like those games. I like story-based games, to be honest. Dinosaurs look, oh god. JJ is after also. Huh? Look good. I think. But yeah, I like story-based games, because then you, you kind of have an endpoint to them. Whereas if you play some of the big sort of open world games, it's like you can play them and play them and play them. That's my problem, is I never stop playing them. Like, I just keep playing them over and over. When I enjoy them. So that's like, that's kind of one of the reasons why I like playing like, uh, you know, a Call of Duty game or something. Like I, I like playing the campaign, I don't really care for the uh, online. I used to like the online, but I don't really care for it too much anymore. I prefer to play just the campaign of the game. Is that, can I cross that? Mm, probably. Oh, maybe not.
Okay, let's put out our reusable anchor. Skip some time. What is this we got? Task starting here? Maybe? Oh, an upgrade. Look at that. I didn't even find that one. Kind of randomly stumbled on it. UAD3s. Nice. Lodestar, AFM, Step, A&K, and the other Lodestar. That's awesome. Did anyone play Metal Gear Solid? Uh, yeah, I used to... My friend had it, I didn't have it. But yeah, I used to play it back in the day. This is probably like 07. So way back in the day, I guess you could say. This does not look like a good path to follow. I should definitely go back and up to my left, it looks like. But yeah, I think I beat one of them. I think it was Metal Gear Solid 4, I think I want to say. I don't really know uh, the games very well, but yeah, I think I played and beat 4. I'm, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one that I've played, even. But yeah, to be honest, I really should play more games with like an actual story and an endpoint so that I can play through it and then move on to another one. Because if you guys have noticed, I just play SnowRunner all the time, and that's like the only thing I play. I mean, now I'm playing Expeditions, but I just keep playing it over and over. Whereas if I had an endpoint, I could play it to the end and then start another game and play that to the end. You're more into Siphon Filter. That's super old. That's like... in, in Splinter Cell? I haven't played a Splinter Cell game in, like, 20 years. I mean, Siphon Filter, the, the game... I remember having that for PlayStation 1. So you're talking, like, 2000. I have a bunch of these, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, honestly, I would say Assassin's Creed was probably my biggest franchise of games. That and Call of Duty. I have, like, all of the Call of Duties going back to... I mean, I'm, I guess I missed a few off the start. Um, I played Call of Duty Finest Hour, Call of Duty Big Red one. I used to have that for uh, original Xbox and then GameCube. It was actually my brother's GameCube, but I bought the game for it because I wanted to play it. Um, but yeah, then I played I played two and three, never bought them, and then I had four, and I mean I lose track of those because they were they were they were doing the same thing as Assassin's Creed every year. Um, but then you got like Finest Hour, Black Ops, Black Ops two, three, however many of those they've had, Modern Warfare's two and three, a bunch of those. Um, but yeah, I played Vanguard on my channel like two years ago when that came out. I really like the campaigns of those. Back in Expeditions, nice. Yeah, I think most people here are uh, more into driving base games. I played a little bit... Wait, is this... This is the wrong hill, isn't it? Crap. Well, I gotta go... I can go up there and go back down, I guess. Yeah. This is the hill we were just at a little bit ago. Cold War is my favorite COD game. Is that the is that the newest one? I'm not sure which one. I I used to play them like religiously because I played them online. 
but I still enjoyed the campaigns of all of them. But I haven't really played much of them for quite a while, to be honest. Like, probably... Probably close to a decade. Like, I didn't really play Black Ops or Black Ops too much, or Modern Warfare's. Like, I kind of had stopped playing by that point. I feel like Cold War is probably one of the newest ones, right? I was like, you discovered a new climb. What do you mean you discovered a new climb? This must be a climb, I guess. Yes, it's a old game. Metal Gear Solid first appeared in PlayStation 1, I think. I don't know if this is going to go very well. Did you bother... Did you try Brother in Arms? Yeah, I played that... Ooh. That was like Xbox, like a, a original Xbox, I think, like way back in the day again. You play Halo a lot, Brother in Arms, when you were young? Yeah, Halo was kind of the game that really got me into video games, because I remember playing that at a friend's house and was like, oh my god, this game is amazing. Because at the time, Halo was so far ahead of any other game. Oh, it came out in 2020. Okay, I don't know if I have that one. I probably don't. I have a whole bunch of them on disc from when I used to buy discs, but obviously that's kind of gone by the wayside. So yeah, I don't think I actually own that one, believe it or not. Maybe I'll have to get it and play it on the channel one day. That'd be kind of fun to go back and play all the CODs, because I only have the... The only one I have on the channel is uh, Call of Duty Vanguard, and that was fun. But when most of them came out, I wasn't making videos. I think I, I started in like the end of 2020. I started doing videos a lot more often. I had like maybe four videos or something that I had done before that back in like 2016, but then never really took it seriously until 2020. Oh wow, there's like a little, little base camp up here. No idea what we're attached to. Oh, it's a tree underground. <laughs> Nice. Reusable anchor point. Fine game. I'll do it myself. Okay, here we are. This must be some sort of uh, observatory. Caution. What does that say? Alien? Yeah, alien activity area. No lights, no loud sounds. Alright. I want to believe exterior stickers. 3300, okay. I will take it. Also, Halo came out with the Xbox, so it helps. Almost everybody played it, or at least tried it. Yeah. Wait, what is this? Main exhibit? Oh, we already... That was the main mission. That, that's why that was kind of highlighted there. Seismic survey? Not doing that right now. Wait, abandoned equipment? Where is that? Can't track it. Can't track... Sonoran Desert. I think a lot of these are going to be Sonoran for a bit here. We got some work to do over there still. Take some photos. 
I mean, we're actually pretty close to this one, so maybe I'll do this quick. Well, it definitely won't be quick, but... Well, we're over here. You love to go back and play old games? Good memories? Yeah, I agree. I was streaming Need for Speed Underground 2 a couple days ago. Pretty nostalgic. Yeah, I went back and bought the, uh, the Halo... Uh, what is it? Master Chief Collection with the old Halo games. I played Halo 1 on the channel, but... Oh, wait, did I... Did I even play Halo 1? I think I... I don't know if I did, actually. I played Halo Infinite. And they made a bunch of uh, guides for like all the collectibles and stuff on there and the skulls and stuff. But I don't think I actually played Halo 1. I think I just made a video for all the skull locations, but yeah. See if we can sneak up here, maybe. Master Chief Collection is on Game Pass. I don't have Game Pass, though. I don't have uh, Xbox Live or PlayStation Network or anything. Or PlayStation Plus, whatever it's called now. I used to have Xbox Live, but... That was a long time ago. I haven't had it in years. I just don't really use my Xbox much now. And actually, I've said this before, but I bought a PlayStation 4. I used I used to have a lot, I had a lot of PlayStation 3 games, and I like PS3 better than Xbox, just because it's more, uh, seems like a better, sturdy, better made system. Uh, but I bought a PS4, bought one game, actually Call of Duty Ghosts, which was the one that came out in 2013. And, uh... That was the only game I ever bought for it. I never bought another another game for PS4, so... And that's actually the reason why I don't have a PS5. I bought the Series X and I bought a couple of games for it, but then I kind of switched over to PC. Oh, well, that's a nice broken bridge there. wasn't too bad. I was like kind of wondering like how am I, am I going to go around this? You only want PS to play Days Gone? Is that only a PlayStation game? I know the Uncharted games are uh, PlayStation. Those are really good games. I remember I told you guys a while ago I started playing Grand Theft Auto uh, 3, the old one. I never... I shouldn't say I never. I don't know if I ever beat 3. I played it way back in the day, but I'm not sure if I beat it. Um, so I replayed it recently and finally beat it. But I was trying to play it on my PS3, but they have like a, what is it called, HDCP? Basically means like a, a, a sort of a safety thing that's installed on it that doesn't allow you to record anything. So that basically you couldn't rip off like shows or games or anything like that. And uh, so I had to rebuy it. But basically all the PlayStation 3 games that I own that I can't really play. Or even 2 and 1 because I can't record them on the PS3. So that's kind of a bummer. What am I... Photo of the pier. Okay, oops. Yeah, so the only games I would be able to record or play would be like PlayStation 4. Um, actually, let's go down there. PlayStation 4, but again, I just told you I only have one game for PS4. Um, oh, we're out of fuel. Uh, 
Uh, or I could do Xbox, but... I think my nephews might have broke my Xbox One. So I can only use my Series X, which... I think the games are still backwards compatible on there, but I don't have any of my saves on there. You can't even with an Elgato or Avermedia? Yeah, I tried it with my Elgato. And it has uh, HDCP. Basically, it has something that like detects if you're trying to record off of it somehow. Uh, I have a first-gen PS3, so like the, the literally the day one PS3s. It's kind of funny because back then, the, the PlayStation 3 I have, or yeah, the PlayStation 3 I have is 60 gigs. And back then, that was the bigger version. That was like the the best one, you know? It's kind of crazy to think about 60 gigs. That's one game nowadays. Or, I mean, I guess it could be, depending on the size, but... You can, you can easily find 60 gig games. So it's just weird to think about, isn't it? One game would have taken up your entire PS3 back in the day. Or one of today's games would have taken up a tire PS3. You kind of said that weird. Hopefully these don't stick to the bottom of the truck. Good. All right. Is this some sort of a crossing here? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, let's look around quick with the binoculars here. I'm installing NBA 2K24 from Game Pass and it's 166 gigs. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I think you... I don't know if you can actually cross through here. It looks like you might be able to go here to here to here to get over there, but... Let's check maybe the water depth. Oops. Pushing all the wrong buttons. This looks pretty deep here. Yeah, it's red. Unless I can, like, cross this way, maybe? I don't know. Possibly down the river here? Let's look backwards. This is kind of slow moving for some reason. Yeah, it does not look like there's any point back there we could cross. And actually, this, this is the edge of the map right here. Exactly where this line is. So... I'm not sure if there's a way to actually cross under here, to be honest. Let's go for it anyways, I guess. We're trying. Oh wow, we made it. Our tire has touched. Although, this is not going to be easy, is it? I gotta somehow try and get up here. Keep using this retractable one. Okay, let's skip. A little bit of time. I'm guessing you probably have to go across like way at a different point than this, but.
Let me see if I can put this. No, it's not even close. I was gonna say, let's see if I can put this further. But it's not. Oops. Crap, I uh, detached. See, the thing is, this one's pulling a little bit further to the right. So we might be able to scoot. Scoot off to our right, maybe. Kind of straightened us right up, didn't it? And that almost worked. Hey, there we go. Found a way to make it work. Let's just send it off here. Use a jack screw, flip it around. There we go. Although I'm not sure if we'll be able to cross the river to get back that way now. Looks like we've got another river crossing here. Oh wait, I think we found a crossing. Now we can fly. Because now we're actually on a spot where we're probably supposed to be going. Got a nice oil drill here or something. Ouch. It's really kind of have a few roads. This must be the pier here, huh? Looks like it most definitely is the pier for this area. Another one down. Let's go to the last one, maybe... Oh, we have to use the force? Bummer. A big vehicle. I used the con marshal out of here. And damaged it up, so that was the only other. I was gonna use this one to kind of scout around a little bit with the uh, the radar module on it.
Taking the fast way down, guys. Running it right off the edge. Nice. Got a double cliff fall on that one. And apparently our engine works. Seat by the water. I'm pretty sure this is one for one of the upgrades I wanted, actually. It might even be, uh... I think it's one of the, s the side mounted racks. Maybe Con Marshall? Possibly Lodestar? No, Lodestar, I remember, was in Carpathian, so it might be Con Marshall. I remember the name now that I look at it, though. JJ sees a cliff. Goes time for a double backflip into the pool. I mean, if this was SnowRunner, there, there's consequences to that, but we're, we're basically playing on normal mode um, with no consequences. Like, you can just flip your truck back over, so. As long as we're only doing a mission or two, we can damage up the trucks and then just start another one, so... Alright, take a picture of the pier. There we go. Oh, rear mounted rack. Okay. I have no idea what truck that was for. Alright, let's go back. We got, we got, oh wait, actually let's scan here. How far are we? Oh wow, we're like way out further than I've ever been, so great spot to scan. Um, I think, I'll check here in a second, Spoon. I think we have three left in this region. And then we have like 12 or something left in the other one. Okay, so we didn't find anything of use out of that, but that's fine. Actually, here, let's check profile quick. Yes, yeah, so we have four expeditions left here. Um, I think once we go back, it might be three. I'm not sure exactly. Um, in the other one, we have 11. We're quite a bit farther in Arizona because we've been doing a lot of the contracts and tasks and upgrades. We have 21 upgrades left. That's not too bad compared to like 50 on uh, Carpathians. I didn't even look at the sale of stuff. Okay, so we do have four left. I was incorrect. All right, what do we got? Visit two spots, normal, looks like an easy one. Let's see, was it the uh, Marshall? I wanna check quick. It was either the Marshall or Lodestar. Um, looks like it might have been the Lodestar. Rear mounted racks. Oh, rear mounted rack. Here it is. Okay. Um... I don't know if that's the one we just unlocked or not, but it takes away the truck bed, so we don't really want that if that is the one. Let's throw on this one. Let's 
check the pug. We haven't used this one in a while. Rock crawler, off road. I think we got new tires. We did. Why not use those? Extended winch. Got the better snorkel. Yeah, I think we're pretty good on this. Large reserves. Nothing there that we can really use. Core problems, so that would be a nice one to get. Yeah, I think we're pretty good there as well. We'll just throw on three people quick. And that way we can get less water damage. Uh, the guy with extra parts and then her for the extra drone range. Again, we'll just throw a couple of these on. Sort of more as a just in case. I don't think we'll use it. Actually, let's throw some on the pug as well. Why not? So whatever truck we use, we're good. Okay, we're not using those two. We're using either... Wait, I can pay to... Oh, wait. No, we already have two trucks there. So we're using the AFIM or Lodestar? Okay, let's switch to... The AFIM. I think the Lodestar had the most stuff. Oh, wow. Visit lots of points with the drone. Okay. So yeah, we had, what was it, 4 and 11? We have 15 total expeditions left out of, what was it, 72, 77? Yeah, so we have 15 out of 77 to go. We're about 80% done of the expeditions. Didn't think about that one, did I? Got another cliff right here. Wow, it still goes. That is a long winch. To be honest, that's pretty good. Four damage for all of that. I'll take that. Let me skip the time. Okay, so we want to go like to here and then up this way. To here, cross this, follow that down. Actually, no, with the drone, we should be able to reach that for quite a bit, of, quite a distance, right? How far is that? Why is it not showing? Oh, 515, okay. So yeah, this is definitely one where you're going to want the drone distance, that is for sure. You can probably reach it from across the canyon, if you're high enough. I didn't think about the height one, but she does increase the height as well. I guess we'll have to see once we get to the other side if we can reach it from there or if we'll have to go all the way up and around. 
We'll probably have to go all the way up and around anyways, actually, to go reach the second points. So... I guess that's not too big of a deal. It just might be easier if we can reach it from that side instead of having to go sort of uh, down to it and then back up and around. We can instead of going around twice, basically, we can just do it once. There we go. Gonna need some help for that one. Yeah, we're still missing the side mounted racks for this one. We gotta be getting pretty close. Because we're, like I said, we have like 20-ish upgrades left here out of 104, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it's in this uh, Arizona area. It might be in the Carpathians, but I'm not sure. Looks like we're burning around 20 liters per minute, which is pretty high. Might need to find... Well, actually, no, we can use the drone dro drone to drop fuel for us. I'm surprised I climbed up that. What is this? Task? T-Rex exterior stickers. Where's Rex when you need them? Wranglosaurus Rex. Alright, so those don't look too high, so we should be fine. We can probably get that with a drone from here. And actually, we could probably just go back and cross that river. So yeah, let's park it right here. I've never had any of these where it's like visit a viewpoint with a drone. That's interesting. Definitely a different, uh, different mission. Really cool, actually, because the spots they're having you get to are basically... Oh, wow, is that a... There is a drop in there. Interesting spot for a drop. There we go. One is off the list. Not sure how low you got to get for these, but... Two off the list. One more. Yeah, imagine if you had to get to all three of these with a vehicle. Because you'd have to go all the way back up and around just to get to this one. Like, you might be able to get from this one to there, maybe, you know, if you climb up. But you'd have to go all the way back up and around this whole big hill to get to that one. That would be quite tough. Alright, so we got to cross here. And then head to, like, probably here or something. That could probably reach it. Alright, we'll go down the edge here. This is the way we came up. We'll turn back and go sort of the way we came for a little bit to get back to that crossing. So we weave back around this big rock. I've never noticed you can go left in this part right there. That's interesting. Dang.
All right, we are back to the crossing here. It looks like there's another crossing to our left, but we'll go with this one. Fuel up quick. I've been through here before, so I know we can get through this one fairly easily. I would guess the other one wouldn't be too difficult either, but you never know. And I think this water is not too deep. Let's see. Oh, it is on the right side. If you go on the left, you're not too bad. Yellow and Maybe orange? Oh no. As I almost go off on the right side. Quiet chat today. I was thinking the same thing. I'm just talking to myself here. It's like uh, back when I started. Although, I guess I've kind of gotten used to that. You just sit there and kind of basically talking to yourself, knowing that somebody will eventually watch it. You know, people who uh, re watch the replays or whatever, they'll watch it and hear you talking, but... Oof. Very quiet chat today, yeah. I almost made a comment on it like a minute ago. I was like, man, this is the quietest it's been in a long time. Tell you what, nothing beats a long day, chilling with some SnowRunner and JJ's stream. Well, thank you. That is, uh, very kind of you. I appreciate that. It's always nice to hear, you know, your work is appreciated, I guess. If you want to call it work. <laughs> I bet we could probably reach it from here, but we'll just drive a little bit closer. Actually, let's check on a map. How far is it? This is the farthest one. 3.30? Now we still gotta go a bit. Actually, you have got 26 viewers, but I guess they're all listening and not active. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I mean... I've said this kind of quite a few times, but you never really know who's in here, right? Like... It could be some of the people who I, uh, who I talk to on a daily basis. They're just busy or, you know, like, sometimes I receive comments, you know, five hours later of like, hey, I was watching the stream today, good stream, you know, this or that, and it's like, oh, okay, they were, they were busy with X, Y, or Z, you know, maybe they were driving and just listening to it or uh, watching it on TV, like uh, Transylvania said earlier, where they're not really chatting, they're just watching. But, um... Yeah, there uh, could be could be totally random people that I've never seen before as well. So they don't feel inclined to comment because they're like, I don't even know you. All right, let's stop here. You always feel productive when you watch me. I just did all my laundry and wiped the floor twice with the vacuum. Nice. Ooh, I don't know if we can reach that top one. Might be a bit far. Um, if I don't clean, I make food. Oh, nice. What would you like to see added to the new map type in Expeditions? Oh, no, am I? Oh, I was like, I'm hitting a barrier. Did I get that one? There we go. Um, that's a good question. I mean, hard mode or, uh... A new game plus, I think, would, well, I guess not added to the map, but added to the game. Because in its current state, like, you know, you, get, you see me just driving off cliffs. There's no, there's no point to not just sort of drive off, wreck your truck, and recover it when you're done with the mission, kind of. 
Obviously, it's not good if you want to sort of explore around and do multiple missions there. Then you're going to want your truck fixed up. But the way that I'm, like, without having to, uh... Without having to do much else, you could just do it and drive off a cliff and, you know, use a, a jack screw to get right back up. You're playing in Alaska while listening to me? Well, hello, Alex. Alex has been lurking in this stream the entire time. Miscellaneous emergency reserve medium. Okay. We'll take it. Go back to the headquarters and do another one. Uh, Alex Fit, totally agree on that red trailer. Oh, by the way, that red trailer is so bad. Oh, the one in uh, Northport, I'm guessing. Okay, what do we got left? Three more here. Looks like production problems. Requirements of a sideboard. This is very hard. Two trucks. Okay. Let's take the AFIM. Actually, no, let's take the uh, Warthog and Acteon. Because... Both of them have autonomous wind. Well, so does the other one, but they have more fuel, I think. Wait a minute, did I? Sorry. Oh, it, for a second there, it didn't look like my slots were all filled. But I guess they are. Got some interesting looking bumpers here, huh? Okay, let's do two of each. Same here. We'll leave the rest of the cargo. We'll use the same people as we pretty much usually use. Hydrologist, Jaegers, and Operator. Okay, I think I'm going to put one of them up north, or maybe, yeah, because one's got to go south for sure. And the other one can go north. It's got one point here, one point here, and one point here. Oh, wait, no, that's not one. Let's put the Warthog up here, apparently. Uh, that four slot in Pedro for the large pipes, I'm considering to buy a five slot blue one. Okay, yeah, I mean, whatever whatever gets it done, right? Uh, I think you were asking yesterday if there's any free trailers, which I think I showed you there's one in Pedro Bay that you can get as soon as you go in just south, um, straight south of the gateway, but you kind of got to go uh, westward and then south and then back east on like the first rows that you see basically. Okay, let's put a mark here, and then we'll go here. I think you can find one for free on the map. Blue, five slot. Sideboard bed is the best trailer. I, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't believe you can find any blue uh, sideboard trailers in Alaska. Again, I may be wrong. But I don't think you can. Okay, looks like we can go down over here, actually. So let's go here and then down. Actually, let's go this way. And then up through here. And then all the way to there. But yeah, I completed Alaska fairly recently. A um, couple, well, eh, maybe not fairly recently, probably six months ago on hard mode. And I, I tried not to buy any trailers. Um, so far throughout all of our campaign, the only trailers we've bought have been long log trailers. And so I don't think that they actually do have a five slot. I could be wrong on that. Um... That's the crappy one, you get stuck in everything. Yeah, it is uh, not good for mud. It's got those really low hanging side skirts or whatever you want to call them.
I've never been down this way before, apparently. Found a new climb. Wait a minute, we gotta install portable rigs? Oh, pick up cargo with portable rigs. So we gotta pick up the portable rigs and then deliver them. Um, this looked like I could go this way, but now it definitely does not, so I'm gonna have to go back up. Just a bit, anyways. But yeah, I do agree with Matt. If you want the uh, the best trailer, personally, I prefer the blue sideboard five slot or semi sideboard trailer. I think that is the best one. That was a pretty solid climb down, I would say. So it looks like we're picking one up here, dropping it off at the other location, and then picking one up in a different location and dropping that off in a fourth location. Oh wait, how do I get up there? Right side, maybe? an interesting place here. Okay, so this is one of the delivery locations. That's a bummer. We're... Install portable rigs. Pick up cargo with portable rigs. So that... Do I gotta pick it up way down here? Let's try the other truck and see... Ever notice the cargo for planks is actually beams? They're just too thick to be planks? No, I've never really noticed that, but now that you say it, I'm kind of thinking about it. They're about the same size. They're probably the same cargo, just cut in half, so the medium planks are basically just metal beams with a different texture, huh? Oh wait, there's one way down here. Drill box? What does this one say? Oh, install, install, pick up, and pick up. Okay, so I gotta go here to pick up this one, drop it off here, and with this one we gotta go drive to this location to pick it up and then back. Okay, that makes sense. These are the things that are kind of like not really clear when you start the game. They don't really tell you like where to go to pick up or drop off. They just kind of have like, hey, you got to go here at some point. Okay, but you couldn't like mark the pickup points and then mark the other ones once we picked it up, you know? So at least you at least go to the right spot first. 
Oh man, I never thought about medium planks and metal beams. Snowrunner conspiracy theory. Well, that was my first thought. They're like the same size. It's, they're probably just a different texture over it. And then the large, the long planks are just two metal beams put together with a different texture. Man, that's a bad one. Oh, I never put a tire on the front mount. Nice. So we just got a little uh, nose sticking out with no tire on it. I'm thinking, I'm a little bit worried on fuel, but like, we have the drone, so I think we should be okay. But for this one, I only have one thing of extra fuel and three spare parts. The spare parts are basically to fix any bridges or anything we can run across. To be honest, I'm not sure if I should be going this way. I don't think you can get down over here. Uh, maybe... Oh yeah, it looks like you can. Okay. Jeez, I was thinking that was kind of a, a small little uh, bump off the edge, kind of like this side, but no, it drops off a couple of feet there. this way. Nice, no damage. Damage free run. kind of dangerous here. Maybe we'll throw one of these up here. There we go. Alright. I don't know if there's a way down over here either. Okay, yeah, on the back side, alright. down here. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think that was the best spot to go down, but it worked. And actually, maybe these spare parts will come in handy, because then I can repair my truck, but I can't 
Or I can repair it with the repair points and then I can drop off fuel with the uh, drone. I think I can drop off repair points as well. Two hundred forty meters out. I don't think we've ever gone back here. Where we've scanned kind of in this area. I think tomorrow we'll go to Carpathians. We'll start working on some of that stuff. We're almost done in this area as far as expeditions go. So yeah, I think three more, three expeditions and then we can move on. We'll probably come back and clean up later. <coughs> but if I remember, we pretty much have um, Grand Canyon and Coconino done with all of the random stuff as well. We pretty much just have to do Sonoran Desert and Wawi Bay, which Wawi Bay is what we're working on. There we go. Turned on the sun. Hello from Poland. Welcome to the stream, Bruno. How are you doing today? Okay, here we go. Grab the drill. Or portable rig, as it's called on here. Oh, wait, we got an airdrop. That's perfect. We need some fuel and fix, so let's do that quickly. Perfect. Used up all our fuel and fixed our truck completely. So this airdrop should come in quite handy. Also got some jack screws from it. And yeah, I'm taking all the spare parts. Spare parts and fuels, our truck is full. Because we only have to go get one more portable rig, which we're grabbing with the other truck, so we don't exactly need this one after this delivery thing here, so we'll have the most fuel and uh, repair points, or, yeah, fuel and repair points that we can. Or unexpected accidents, maybe? Unexpected events. Ian, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hello, Bruno. Be right back, says Matt. All right. That seems like one of the bridges that's actually, like, really necessary. <laughs> Don't think you can really cross that gap without that one. 
Maybe if you go up around, maybe. Looks like, yeah. Oh, look at that. Is this one that we found? No, we've never been over here. That's just randomly sitting there? That's interesting. This is just nice and flat over here. Cruising territory. I have a feeling it's going to get quite dangerous though. Because usually if it's easy, it's not easy for long. And it looks like it definitely gets tougher up here. Let's go down. Oh no. Rolled it. Look at that, we got a few of those. Let's take a look around. It's been a while since we looked around. Let's zoom way out so we can actually get, get a view of something. Boards, a bridge. You love expeditions more than SnowRunner, you think? That's good. Personally, I like SnowRunner a little bit more, but I really love what Expeditions has to offer as far as the, the vehicles, where they how they drive in the maps. They're really fun. And I've, I've kind of always wanted something to do with the Scouts and SnowRunner, but there just really isn't a reason to use them for me. So this kind of gives me a nice change of pace, a reason to actually use smaller trucks. I know I've said this before, but like I've always thought it'd be cool on SnowRunner if they made a map where there's like a, a passage, or maybe maybe it would just be a separate DLC. But kind of like people were saying, this this should have been a scouting, scout-based spin-off or scout-based DLC, not spin-off. Um, but I think they should have had a really tight passage somewhere. That you could only use smaller vehicles, and we're not talking like just small vehicles. We're talking like the smallest of scouts, so like stuff that could barely fit through. Maybe there'd be, uh, people would find like mods or something you could like throw a truck over the top or whatever. But like have a really narrow passage, kind of like this, right here with the side stick out to where like only really small vehicles could sneak through. And then have a bunch of scouting stuff to do over there. So there'd be no like cargo deliveries, but... You could sneak through with a small scout truck and do some... Oh wow, this is the wrong way to go. Uh, you could sneak through the scout truck, do some scouting over there, whatever you had to do for missions, but just have like its own area, so it basically forces you to use a smaller truck. Because otherwise, usually when they, when they have a mission that you, like, use a scout trailer or something, most of the time I don't even use a scout trailer because it's like, what's the point? Like, you can throw the trailer in the back of a truck and just drag it there, you know? It's easier. It's not all about being easier, but it just sometimes makes more sense to use that. Like, the, the vehicle you find it with is usually a bigger vehicle. So, yeah, just dragging it. What is that? Oh, an upgrade. Nice. Let's grab that. Cannot be skipping that for sure. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I know there's uh, quite a few people on the channel that have said that same thing. Personally, I'm more of a SnowRunner fan. I like delivering of cargo, but I've always thought there should be something more to Scouts than what there was. Advanced Winch, advanced winch for the Cutco Canyon, Tatra 805, Lodestar, Don 71, Don 71 SE. Very nice. Can't, can't attach nothing. Um, how far are you, might I ask?
Okay, portable rig. One down. Let's go back to the other uh, warthog up here. It's kind of weird that we made it here, and this one has the portable rig already there, but we uh, have to go back to the other one. For this one, we have to go pick it up. Well, we did have to pick up the other one as well, but... This one, it looks like it's already built. The other one was, there was nothing there. At least I didn't see it. Maybe it was. Yikes. Oh, so close. Jeez. It's trying to turn. Oh man, did I really just do that? I was trying to turn my truck uphill. Um, yeah, it looks like it's a fairly easy path all the way down there. Let's go, let's go down, I guess. I was gonna go up, but it's funny because I paused to look at the map and then I look at the path going up and then I'm like, yeah, I'll just keep going down. I didn't even check this path, but that, there's kind of that cliff side there. I've been getting quite a few questions lately about different locations of upgrades for vehicles and it's like man I have no idea because there's so many upgrades in this game it's hard to keep track of what's for what and like half the time when you unlock them if it's from an expedition or a task or a contract it just says like roof rack or rear mounted racks or reserves or whatever it is you have no idea for what truck uh, if you do find the upgrade on the map it does tell you which truck so that is nice and you could, if you really wanted to, you could search through each truck and be like, oh, what is the tire upgrade for uh, this truck? Or, you know, whatever. You could find out exactly which tire you want and then look at which mission you got to do to complete it. So you would know what you got to do, but yeah, it's just, it's kind of a mess of where, like, to try and keep track of what's where and how you get it or whatever, it's just way too much. That looks like a dinosaur spot right there. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh wait, is it? Is it up? It is up. How in the heck am I getting up there? Looks like from the other side. I might have to go all the way back to here to get up there. Oh wait, no, we gotta climb right here. Okay, let's just throw this. Alright. I don't remember building this bridge. Wait, you can actually see it on the map. The bones. Even though it wasn't revealed for us, there's some dinosaur bones in there. That's funny. I'm guessing that's one of our next expeditions then. Did that just take away points? It did. Oh wait, no, that's fuel. Yeah, it still did. That's weird. Took away fuel, or uh, took away points and didn't fix anything. I had tried that before and it didn't take away any points and then I had tried it again and it did, so I was kinda not sure if it would or wouldn't. 
Can you make it brighter, please? Thank you for asking. Yeah, I tried to try to keep it bright. If it ever is too dark, just let me know. I will switch it right back. Also, welcome to the stream, Sniper. Oh boy. Starting to slide sideways. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I try and switch it. Really appreciate that, thank you, you're welcome. Sometimes I try to switch it and I'm, I kind of like, get sort of distracted, like in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, we switched it back today, like it's brighter, but it's like morning instead of like mid-afternoon. I like to switch it to mid-afternoon so it's just nice and bright. It's just a much better uh, viewing experience when it's really bright. Far easier to follow along, you know? Because, like, for me it might be fine, but for you guys it's, like, dark. And then for me, if it's dark, it's, like, pitch black for you. So it looks a little bit darker, uh, whenever you're watching it. On a different screen, it looks like. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Perfect, we made it. Alright. Now we gotta go right back to where we came from, because basically we went to the wrong place. Wrong order, I guess. What do you guys think? Should we full send it off the edge? Yeah, we have eight jack screws. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Wasn't quite expecting that landing. Oh, our truck is broken up. Dude, that destroyed our truck. I wasn't paying attention to how much damage it actually caused, but that was pretty funny. Completely broke the truck. So yeah, on the map this shows a bunch of bones, but we don't see it yet. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's pretty obvious, anyways. Like, once you... Once you've done the mission where you go, like, uncover the bones, it's pretty obvious what what the areas look like. Let's go back down towards the water here. Oh, ooh, almost flipped it. I think we were at 49% before the start of this video. Not sure where exactly we would be at now. Another one. We've done a little bit more progress. Probably 50, maybe 51 if we're lucky. We did get a couple of upgrades, which is easy percentage if you run across those. Because all you gotta do is pick it up and it counts for one out of, you know, 214. Whereas you might do... <coughs> 
excuse me, you might do a whole mission that takes like an hour, and that counts for one. You know, the same, they're not weighted differently. So like one, one upgrade is the same as completing one expedition. All right, we have, uh, I think, two expeditions left after this. Wait, it just showed the Acteon. When it built that, it showed the Acteon. That, that vehicle's way across the map, so it showed it in the wrong spot. Okay, let's go back to the headquarters. Yo, what's up, Balder? I was actually just talking about that. Um, let's back out quick and see. We'll go to the main menu. I think we're probably 51? 50%, so we're halfway. Halfway in total completion. Uh, but as far as just expeditions goes, we got two left here. And 11 here, so 13. And we're completely done. Actually, I was going to check. Does Little Colorado have a map? It just says main base, okay. Wait, Grand Canyon? Yeah, it just says main base. Different. Okay. Weird bug with the Acteon, yeah. What's up, Alderar? Why are you saying, oh my god? Is that a lot? Ooh, this one... It's listed as hard. The last one is UFO does not exist. Jeez, that one's all over the place. Okay, well, let's go, uh do this one. Three portable media stations, that's going to be pretty rough. I haven't used the R in a while. Let's use the R. Um, maybe Marshall. Let's go with smaller vehicles. Yar, Marshall. Um, thinking maybe Warthog and Lodestar? Let's try it. All right, let's add rangefinder. Okay, yar is done. Throw one more on here. Actually, with the marshal, let's throw. T let's fill this one all the way up. Let's go with this as well. Well, that's a sideboard bed we need. Okay, and then this one can have. Again, sideboard bed we need. Okay, so this... It's got to have three portable media stations. Yikes. We'll go three and three. Just to make sure, because we're going to need a lot of stuff. We'll, we'll add the hydrologist. Should we use one of these? Um, wait, no, it's mechanics, right? 15% less fuel consumption, maybe 20%? Wait, 30% armor can repair anywhere. What do you mean can repair anywhere? You're actually... No, let's, uh... Let's change her out with, uh... Oops. With the, the guy who can trade. Let's do that. You're good, you are you play Door Kickers 2. Top-down CQB tactics game, nice. UFO is pretty good payout though, 55k, really? Jeez, that's a lot. Look at how much money we spent for this one, 6,600 for the prepayment and 17,000. Hmm. All right, we'll go with it. I probably should uh, use. Wait, rangefinder, portable media station, rangefinder, portable media station. Here, let's go back. So, media station way over here, and a rangefinder. Oh, is it two and two? I thought it was three and three. Why are these popping up now? 
One of those camera traps? Mud flats? I don't know. Anyways, this one's pretty close. Let's get this one out of the way, I guess. Door kickers, Alderar? What kind of game is this? Yeah, I've never heard of it, but... Uh, if we go to the right, we might be able to go down, I guess. Maybe. Never heard of it, but you said it's uh, CQB. What's that? Close Quarters Combat or something? I don't remember exactly what it stands for. So close quarters combat uh, tactics game. Yeah, we got to get down from this. Just about to say this place doesn't look too bad, but almost flipped it. Okay, one success, I guess. Not expecting two, probably fail on one of them, right? Tires are biting in. Well, I can't back up because I have it in a uh, low. Oof, almost lost it. That was close. Close quarters battle, okay. You have to check it out yourselves, but if someone likes tactics games with active pause, you'll like it. Okay, so it's like a turn-based, uh... <laughs> really? Uh, turn-based cor close quarters battle type of game. How do I get up on this? Looks like over here, here, uh, all the way over to here. Back to the warthog. Oh, actually, can I? I think I'm full on inventory, aren't I? I don't think I can uh, trade with myself. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Actually, wait. Yeah, I could. Change truck. Trade. Oh, no, I lied. I filled them both up. Wait, we could exchange. Here we go. There. Now this truck has all the stuff we need for this point. Oh, 
Hello Chevy, welcome to the stream, how are you doing? Also Alderar, I don't know if I told you welcome, but welcome to the stream Alderar, how are you doing today? Like when JJ say really? Really? I don't even know, I don't know how I said it, but... Well there's no turns, but you can plan the whole battle from the start, look at how it went, or... Play in real time, just pause the game. Oh, okay, gotcha, so... Not exactly uh, turn-based, but you can pause it, which is nice. Wait, where...? Oh, I, I went the complete wrong way. Didn't I? Certainly did. Alright, let's go back. What I probably should have done is split up these medio, or what are they, portable medio stations. Put one in a, an Acteon or AFIM. And then one in a Warthog, or maybe two in, two in one and two in the other. Or two in one and one in the other, I mean. So that I can go to the different spots with uh, one, one truck from the north, one from the south, rather than having to use the same truck, because I probably should have thought that out a little better. Yay, new climb. How far are you know all there are on uh, expeditions? It is the uh, upper one here. A lot of these places I probably would have never gone up if you didn't have to, like this one. You know, I've seen it a plenty of times, but I didn't know there's actually a route up here. Okay, portable media station. You're back, because I left it a little. Uh, just 12 and 12. Oh, okay. And only Warthog left to find. So you're, you're missing this little beast right here, huh? Well, like I said, I left the game for a bit. Yeah, it makes sense. Range finder. So yeah, now we have to drive all the way across over to here, which actually might not be too bad. We'll have to go up here, probably down this way and over there. I'm trying to think of what map the Warthog is on. And for some reason... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember it now. Well, I don't remember the name of it, but I remember... I remember where it was. The Warthog was actually the last one that I got as well, Alderar. I think it might be Unshakable Island. Can I get down from here? Nope, I have to go back. All right, let's take the tree. Oh, 
Oh, I think we hit that and didn't actually take any damage. It sounded like it did, but I don't, didn't see anything pop up. Looking forward to co op in this game so much. I think uh, with the with the uh, operators, the co-op could be really fun. Wait, why am I? St oh, there we go. It's like, why am I stuck? Like uh, the main one I, I'm thinking of is the the uh, drone person. Like, if your friend flips over and like they could be on the other side of this hill or something, like in a bad spot, you could fly over and just give them a jack screw or whatever. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because you're not far in Carpathians. Understandable. Question for you, JJ, and chat and the chat. Which Snowrunner map would make a really good Expeditions map? Ooh, that is a good question. I'm trying to think of like really mountainous ones. Um, probably Season 10 Duncan Bay would probably be the best best one. I think another good one would, would be, uh, well, maybe not. I was thinking Pedro Bay, because has that big, like, swirl mountain. You have to kind of weave around and go up. But that's, like, the only really high point, I guess, on that map, so maybe not so much. Um, honestly, even if, like, if you look at the map of Black River, like, there's, there's some big slopes. Like, if way over on the uh, west side, they have, like, a bunch of... Um, uh, what are they? Like, uh, wind turbines. I've gone up there before, but there's, like, no reason to go up there. But there's actually quite a bit of, uh, stuff to kind of... If you if you go way off the path of the normal maps, there's some stuff you can kind of climb around in and sort of have fun with. Or, like, up behind the garage in, um, Smithville Dam, there's, like, a big hill there. Oh, actually, I'm thinking about the Yukon maps. The Yukon maps have quite a bit of hills. Those would be pretty fun. Hi, JJ. Any chance you know when the next update will be, or does anyone know, please? Um, yeah, I, I don't have any idea. I haven't checked to see if there's like been any recent news um, on Discord or anything, so... I'm a little bit uh, out of date, I guess you could say. The last that I had heard is they're going to be doing the, or hopefully doing PTS update by the end of the month for SnowRunner. Expeditions, there's been absolutely no news, like, for anything. So that's just, nobody knows anything about it, basically, as far as I know. Um, and then also for SnowRunner, the Azov Atom truck is supposed to be coming in early April. So, you know, within the next two weeks probably. Maybe three if you want to round it out a little bit further. Yukon, please don't remind us. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's no news on like the next update as far as I know. Oh, you flipped the Warthog there so many times? That's funny. weed down here. Uh, I reckon uh, Kola Peninsula would be good. Okay. Yeah, I suppose there isn't a lot to climb around in, the, in there, isn't there? All those, like, old uh, military installations or whatever you want to say. Wait, is that? That's the point I want to go across, right? No, actually, we're going this one. This is the one I haven't been across yet. Thank you for that. You're welcome, Robert. I'm always glad to be able to help you guys, even though it's might not be, uh, you know, like I said, I haven't checked it in the last two days to see if there's any new information, but wait. Oh, it's just down the hill. But that was the last that I had heard. So there, there could be a possible, you know, more information out there, but I kind of doubt it. They're, they usually are far and few between for information. On announcements, there's only March awards for mod creators. I saw they're offering like a $5,000 reward for mod creators for uh, expeditions. I don't remember, I didn't really read it, but I remember seeing the prize and something about expedition mods.
maybe they have enough people who are mod creators on SnowRunner. They're trying to get some more to come over to Expeditions or something. I don't know. Northern Aegis Installation. Yeah, actually, that would be a pretty good one as well. Because there's so many really rocky parts. That would probably make one of the better ones, to be honest. Like, I know that, like, Cliffside, or... What was it? Cliffside Surfer? That one's a pretty tough uh, contest. There's a couple of, like, really tough spots you're supposed to get to. Like, uh, I can't remember any of the names, but there's one, like, down south in the middle. A couple up by the gateway you gotta get to. Hello, Zing. Good evening, JJ and chat. How are you doing, Zing? Oh my god, I wish I could mod. Yeah, I think they're having a $5,000 reward for uh, some mod creators. I don't, like I said, I didn't really look, didn't really read it, but um, I don't know if it's like for the best in a certain category or, you know, I don't, like I said, didn't really read it, but yeah, there's a $5,000 uh, reward for mod creators for expeditions. So that would be pretty cool if you create mods. What, or Oops. Um, hey, JJ, what is the next stream tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to be doing more expeditions. I'm just trying to kind of finish this one off. I'll probably do like three three expeditions to SnowRunner until we can get this done. I was going to do like every other day, but I kind of would rather do more expeditions to get it done. Because the SnowRunner is just my hard mode. It's not It's not like it's the most recent season or anything, like the new the newest stuff. So, I think we'll probably do like uh, three, three expeditions, two snow runner, something like that. Zing with a big Z. Okay, how do I get up here now? Oh, it looks like there's a, a climb just to my right, right there. these tires. That helped a little bit too much. I wanted to turn, that thing just yanked me left. This is quite the steep slope though. That was a pretty good grab, I think. So Zing just finished off Season 12 of SnowRunner as hard mode. He's going to Season 11, starting tomorrow. Portable Meteo Station done. I don't have a rangefinder? Are you serious? Oh, I put them in these vehicles, didn't I? I put one in each one. Alright, um... Well, we're pretty low on fuel, I suppose. I guess we could run out some stuff here. We're gonna need to, yeah. Modules, drone, yes. I think it was rangefinder, right? Yeah, it must have been rangefinder. Drop off some fuel. There we go. Okay, we got a rangefinder. Uh, how did you like that one, JJ? I saw you snuck in a comment. Um, 
yeah, I watched... I watched the entire thing. I think I put two, two comments there. One was fairly early on in the video. Last portable media station over there. Alright. Wait, we were just there. That's the way we came from. Dang it. Uh, Alright, well... What's the worst job I've done on expeditions? I think it was called Water Composition. I actually took a screenshot of the uh, of the locations for it because it was so bad. It took me like 20 minutes just to find a stupid piece of metal in the water. Actually, it was two pieces of metal and they were tiny and the circle to find them was tiny. And so it was really annoying. I've heard they made the circles bigger now, but I'm, I don't know. I've never, never replayed it. But yeah, I think it was called Water Composition. And it, basically it... You have to scan the water with a drone. And, uh, you have to find something, a little piece of metal in the water. And I... I try to increase in the brightness all the way to 100% on both my screen and the game. And it didn't help. You can't... It, it's just... The water there was really black. You couldn't really see anything. So it was, uh... It was very annoying to try and fix or find it. So I took a screenshot. I thought about making like a community post of like, hey, if you guys do this uh, this expedition, here's your spots. Like just to save you like 20 minutes. Because it was pretty, uh, pretty annoying. Same question, but for SnowRunner. That is a good question. Um, like there's, there's one that comes to mind right away, which is the... Uh, it, it's probably because I just did it, but it's one in Northern. One of those points that I was just talking about that's really hard to get to. I can't remember what the name of it is. But it has you go to like four random points on the map, and one of them is really tough. I think, Alder, you were, you were there watching when I got the uh, Sentinel stuck in the crack, right? I got the Sentinel stuck in the crack and had a troubles getting it out. It was like jammed in there. But yeah, it's a really tough spot. That's the only thing that really, that was the first thing that came to my mind. I haven't really had anything else. Worst missions. Um, well, I dislike the seism seismic vibration missions. The one on season nine was quite annoying because there's all those stupid little stumps that you can't even see. I got stuck for a good 10, 15 minutes in, the, in one of those locations. Uh, so that, that would, actually that might overtake the other one, because the other one was my error. The stumps you just can't even see. So I, I'm, honestly I'll probably lean into, that's probably the worst one. Seismic vibration missions in the burned, or yeah, the burned forest in season nine, that was probably the worst one. I hate the seismic jobs. Oh, there we go. Didn't even read the comment. Uh, and it's really dark on Switch as well. Yeah, that would make it a little bit harder, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, totally, bud. Same feeling. Just did the one in Ontario, and it was super annoying. Plus, the seismic vibrator is really rooting all over your bumper. That's funny. You guys, you guys both just nailed exactly what I had just said. Uh, uh, yeah, it's something about the rocks on the seaside or something. Yeah, that one. Uh, but I've managed to cross it safely on my first time. Very nice, Alderar. I think I flipped both times I did it on normal mode and hard mode. I'm not sure if there's a good way to do that one. I definitely found a better route uh, this, the second time that I did it. But... Actually, I think... I think I could do it now without having any trouble, because I fell in a hole that could be avoided. Alright, portal media station is done. That's the third one. 44,000 for that, nice. Well, we officially have a million dollars. Rocks on the seaside, what's that? 
it it basically has you go to like four separate points on the map. Mo uh, the other ones aren't too, like they're not too bad, but the one that he's talking about, I don't remember exactly what point it's called, but it's something like that. Rocks on the, I don't know something something along those lines, but it's on the south middle part of northern. Like if you were to go all the way to the south part of the map, and then just center it, and then go a little bit up, that's where it's at. Okay, um, very hard, two trucks. Yikes, it's a long distance to go. Gotta go south with one, and then all the way back, north with one. Our government is concerned about this so-called ufologist who lives in a peculiar house on the mountain. Of course, aliens don't exist. Oh, okay, it's way over there. That makes sense. Um, and he couldn't find anything interesting, but still our agents want to talk to him. Find him and pass our invitation, or pass on our invitation. Okay. Let's do... Let's see if it only allows it. Oh, it does allow multiple trucks, okay. It says two trucks, but it's allowing more than two, so I'll take it. Let's do that. The drone. And hydrologist. Oh, let's go. Sure. You were there in the Tatran, okay. Uh, I was barely watching your streams because I wouldn't w or didn't want to spoil it for myself, but I saw you pick up the Sentinel and was there. I recall the place, okay. I know, but I just hate it. Yeah, the seismic vibration missions are a pain. There we go. Favorite flavor of Coke? Probably. I don't. I mean. Probably Cherry Coke. I don't really drink much sodas, but. Um, original Coke is pretty good, but I think the Cherry Coke is probably a little bit better. But I haven't really tried any, to be honest. Like, I've never really got any of the uh, other options. Part of the, uh, not much of a, a soda or any, like, energy drinks, coffee. I pretty much just drink water or juice. So if it's not those two, i fairly limited. Um, I was surprised, or I was kind of surprised they even took it, it over two expeditions. Yeah, I am too, to be honest. It doesn't seem like a thing you would use here, but... Eh, I don't know. I mean, it, it does kind of make sense, but at the same time, it's kind of, it's sort of just annoying. <laughs> I think I have had it a long time ago, like when I was a kid, maybe. I'm pretty sure I've had it. Vanilla coat. Oh, before you stopped drinking, you used to love vanilla coat. Old school Coke and the glass in the bottle was the best. Actually, I think I posed this question before. I've heard that the uh, Mexican Coke is better than American Coke because they make it slightly different. Can anybody uh, anybody here confirm that? I don't know if Lessons is still here. He's from South Texas. Or Texas, I should say. I don't know about South Texas. I was going to say he's from the South and he's from Texas, but I said it kind of weird. I thought they brought the seismic vibrator, but not the metal detector. They do have a metal detector, it's just different. Um, I don't have it on any of my trucks currently. But they do have a metal detector. Yeah, has anybody ever had the Mexican Coke? It's made with cane sugar, that's why it's different. Okay. Yeah, I've heard it's way better than American Coke. Although I've never been to Mexico or really anywhere close to the border down there. Well, I, actually, I lied. I've been to, uh, I've been to... What is it? San Diego, right on the other side?
Oh, shoot. Crap, I forgot to buy stuff for my vehicles. I am going to restart this one, guys. 39 watching, 32 likes. Oops, thank you, Zing. Because this one is listed as very hard. Let's throw the Yar. Pug. The Marshall and Lodestar. That'll do. And that's funny, we spent 10,000 so far. How about this one? 13. 18,000 we're deploying for this one. <laughs> Hydrologist, Jaeger, and Drona Operator. There we go. Oops, I apologize, I was incorrect. No, you're good. Oh shoot, I should have showed you the metal detector when I was just there. Oh well, I guess. Next time. I'm in the UK, so probably slightly different than what you guys get. Yeah, probably, actually. But yeah, I've, I've heard uh, the Mexican Coke is better than American Coke. But there's a lot of stuff that is actually different, like... Uh, a lot of the stuff that you guys have illegal, as like stuff you can't put in food, they put it in our food. Maybe I shouldn't say a lot of stuff, but there's quite a few things that you guys have. I don't, I couldn't name any offhand, but there's a lot of stuff because you guys are a little bit more strict. Maybe not the UK, but um, certain European countries, or maybe just the EU. I'm not even sure. But yeah, you guys have a bunch of stuff that's like illegal to be putting in food, and we're still using it. Kind of odd. But apparently it's like highly addictive stuff that is why we're so fat. Or part of the reason I should say. It's obviously up to the own individual to watch their diet and exercise. But uh, yeah, it's part of the reason why. Because they put these things in the food that are like more... Maybe I shouldn't even say highly addictive. Maybe they're just addictive in general or something. But... Uh, yeah, you guys have outlawed it. Um, parts of the UK, I think, or uh, Europe, I should say, parts of the U parts of Europe. Maybe even all of it, I don't know. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. You've heard that? Like cornstarch, we don't use that, it's considered too dangerous to the health. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what kind of... Uh, what kind of other foods, but there's un er, uh, ingredients, maybe, food ingredients. But there's a bunch of them that, like, you guys don't, you guys basically said it's illegal to use it in your foods, but then we're still using it. We don't have vanilla coke, unfortunately. Really? Or in Canada, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of surprising, to be honest. I, well, I guess they do have different flavors all over the world, huh? That makes sense. Yeah, different countries in the EU have different restrictions. Alright. Landed that. Titanium dioxide is an example of something that is banned in the EU. Is that titanium dioxide something that's banned in the United States, do you know? Because I know there's there's quite a long list of stuff that's banned. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's not the EU, but maybe a bunch of European countries, so... Could be slightly off. I don't want to be that guy, but it's gone down in quality over the last 10 years. Ice caps are incredible. Sorry, I missed something. 
Oh, you're in Canada. Tim Hortons, man. We need that over here. Ice caps are incredible. Oh, okay, I read that wrong. I've never had Tim Hortons, but... Or Tim Hortons. Sometimes I can't talk. But, as you guys know, uh, I said the last couple of days that I'm not much of a coffee drinker, so... Would kind of make sense that I wouldn't have it, right? Where do we gotta go? We're basically there, but it's probably probably easiest to head all the way to here and go that way. Hey, Tank Baby, hello. Welcome to the stream, Tank Baby. We were just talking about wiener water soup, so welcome back. Wait, this is the vehicle I only chose one for. Hey, Mateo. Hello, Alderar. Um, in OZ, we have vanilla Coke, cherry Coke, Pepsi, unless you go to Costco. What is OZ? I'm not sure I know. Is that a... a it's probably a, a country that I'm just not smart enough to figure it out. God damn it, JJ. I had to get tank with it. Actually, Mateo, is that is that a thing you guys... Do you guys eat hot dogs over there like we do over here? I don't know if it's like a American thing or not. I'm assuming it's, it's fairly common like most of the world, right? I've only ever been to Canada, so... Oh, OZ is Australia. Really? Well, thanks for that. I didn't know that. Learning something new every day. Thank you, Wild Fox. What have I missed so far? Got home. Watched TikTok for an hour before you realized you were streaming. All good. Anything interesting on the old talk to today? We have sausages more than hot dogs, but you can get hot dogs. Okay. No worry. No worries, fella. How is life? Um, but yeah, we... We've done, what, three expeditions? No, four. I think we've done four expeditions so far, Tank Baby, to answer your question. Um, this is actually our last expedition here in Arizona. This is the 37th one. Um, it's not, like, each region you can do, I guess we'll take that, and the fuel, and the spare parts. Let's see if we can fix our truck at all. Take their last of this. There we go. Um, yeah, this is our last uh, expedition here. It's not the last one for everybody because you can do it in different orders. Once you unlock each of the maps, then you can kind of play whichever one you want. But the, the start of the game is uh, linear, so you're s stuck doing certain things in the same order. Uh, as far as if you go to Arizona or Carpathians, that is. Um... But yeah, I think we have like, tw actually let's check, profile, we have 18 upgrades left to find um, through, through doing t contracts and tasks and a probably a couple on the map. So we're 77% done with Arizona overall, I think we're 50% done with total completion of the game, and then we're 47% done with uh, Carpathians. I had no idea that OZ was an Australian 
abbreviation. I had no idea. How does that work out? I have no clue either. I'm glad that I finished a book that I started a year ago. Wow, nice alter art. I don't really read books, so I you doing better than I am. I really should, because I know there's a, a lot of good books out there. I just, I don't know, I prefer to play video games pretty much all I do. Who's going to get second place? Wait, Wild Fox, we spotted you. Wild Fox lurking. We've spotted the Wild Fox. Nice and ready for Melbourne F1. Oh, nice. Oh, whoops. So, wait, I went, I went, oh wow, a tree right next to me, okay. How can I not put it anywhere here? Okay, I guess that works. Ian, who are you vote rooting for? Are you big into F1? I mean, I'm assuming you are with the, uh, can't wait for uh, F1 to be there. Or maybe just the, uh, the event it gives you something to do. I'm not sure if you're a big fan of it or not. Focus, JJ. I know, I get distracted. I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch up on the checks. I know there's quite a few of them that I missed. No, not really. That's just stupid country song that Adele sings. Ice caps, are those the ice drinks with Tim Hortons is famous for? Like crushed ice cappuccino. Oh, we're slipping. Oh no. Max Verstappen, okay. I don't follow F1 too much. It's so funny, being a Verstappen fan, I've been rooting for him way before Aston Martin left RB, went to Coda F1 GP last year wearing one of those jerseys. Everyone kept asking where you got it, nice. Uh, I think we are, 1005 would be drinking one right now if I could. Oh, one, I think you said 100%. 1, 000, yep, 100%, 1,005, got it. Took me a second to put it together, but we are good. Okay, let's go with the Marshall. One of the old ones, you can't buy their, in their store anymore. Okay, nice. Go Red Bull. Two Max Verstappen fans in one go, damn. Well, isn't he one of the uh, the better racers? I don't really follow F1, but isn't he like a, probably a top three, like pretty consistently? Hello, uh, Cools Gaming, how are you doing? So no, Lewis Hamilton, if I said his name correctly, is like the main, sort of the main, uh, but I know Verstappen's also up there all the time, so. Three-time world champion. Well, this will be an interesting, uh, interesting flip here. Hello, Cools. Everybody welcome Cools to the chat. Glad you got away from Mercedes. I can't... Where'd that go? I can't believe they're barely getting in in the points. I'm so sick of Max, similar to how sick of Taylor Swift when someone's... is so good at something for so long you just get sick of them. Well, I do anyways. Yeah, I hear ya. Understandable.
Taylor Swift, not a fan of that music to be honest. Whoops. Just feels weird for someone who doesn't write the songs to be so big. He's a Ferrari, isn't he, Lewis? I am not sure on that. Sounds like one of these guys could probably answer the question for you, though. Thousand percent, that's why I asked that way. Can I wait for SnowRunner Phase... Or, yeah, Phase 13 on PTS. Hopefully, uh, yeah, by the next... What is it? Uh, Ten days, I think, left in March. They said hopefully by the end of the month, so... Enzing and Hunter... Almost 100% positive, that's why Parkinson's asked who's going to play second. Oh, okay, yeah, that's probably why he asked who's going to play second instead of first. What What is, like, the, uh, the betting odds? I need to watch more TV. Well, you, you gotta remember, I, I live in the middle of nowhere, so we actually don't even have any, like, service where I live. So I like to watch football, that's about the only thing that I like to watch, and actually I don't... I usually watch it on my phone because we half the time it doesn't come in where I live. And uh, so a couple years ago it was free on your phone, and then they, they made it to $30 a year. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll pay it just because I, you know, it's... Sometimes it's the only way I can watch it. And then last year they boosted it up to $70 a year, and I was like, what the heck? Like, I mean... It, I understand they got to make their money, but I'm going to I'm going to cancel it this year. I'm just not going to watch it, I guess. Uh actually this is our turn here. But yeah, that's the only thing that I really watch. Uh, we we don't have Netflix, we don't have Amazon Prime, we don't have Hulu, we don't have uh, basically anything you can think of. We don't have it. So uh, I watch pretty much YouTube, and that's it. Ouch. Thanks, I wasn't sure. Lewis will be with Ferrari next year, really? He's switching teams, huh? He's with Mercedes now. Uh, oh yeah, does anybody who plays multiplayer know if the winch cable snapping is a thing in multiplayer? Oh shoot. Um, was using the burlap with my buddy and my winch cable was like rubber. <laughs> really? Oh, that is crazy thing. If you pull the winch at the same time, it tends to disconnect. Oh, if you both pull it at the same time. Oh, I see what you're saying. I was actually wondering, I've had that before with uh, Telemenis when we were playing co-op. Like, we would both pull the winch and then it would just break off, and I'm like, what the heck? So yeah, only one person can pull it. That's good to know. And for some reason, the vehicles are super heavy if you have somebody inside it. I don't know if that's like a, a well-known thing, but yeah, if you're if you're one of you guys flips over and you want to flip the other one back over, you're better off switching out of the vehicle. They have old shows and movies on YouTube. Yeah, actually, I was looking at them the other week because um, I I remember I watched a YouTube short a while ago that said like, did you know they have uh, TV shows and movies on YouTube you can watch? And I was like, no, I did not. Actually, let's just uh, grab this. But yeah, I did know that now. I found out fairly recently, but I was looking at them like a week or two ago, probably. Some shows to see if there's anything that I wanted to watch. But yeah, usually there's all kinds of like documentaries and like, I don't know, all kinds of... I mean, there's so much stuff on YouTube. You guys can be entertained for hours. I'm sure many of you guys have know, known that, but... Yeah, I'll watch all kinds of random stuff on YouTube. That is where my time goes if I'm watching. Do you like boba tea? 
I personally never had it. Um, I think we were talking about tea just yesterday, was it? Hokal, I'll have to ask him if he was pulling it. Yeah, it probably was, because that was what me and Telemenus were doing too. Like, as soon as I would throttle, it would stretch the cable and snap. Really? Heck yeah, buddy. Big time fruit bubble tea fan. With coconut jelly, tapioca pearls. Nice. I like the I like this guy's name, the UFOologist. The UFOlogist. Ouch. That was a pretty big hit there. Kinda saw that one coming. I just noticed there's like a hole in that rock over there. You guys see that? Kind of funny. Just realized those roof racks. Oh, well, we got a bunch of jack screws here. Let's repair the vehicle. Throw in some fuel. And spare parts. There we go. Actually, I can... Sh well, I don't need to trade here because there's nothing for me to get. Okay, I gotta go up here. Right? Yeah, up this way up through here and then this way I think just realize those roof racks look like the ones on the Land Rover pack in SnowRunner yeah because the, the Land Rover ones kind of look a little bit different don't they they have like the the big uh, like boards and stuff on the side too With how much copy pasting they did with this game, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I know that's a big concern for a lot of people, and even I think they should have, uh... Like, they have, like, three new vehicles. I think they should have had maybe three SnowRunner vehicles and, you know, whatever, it would be 11 non-SnowRunner ones, but... Probably too much to ask for. Let's deflate this a little bit. Ouch. Passion fruit is. Sorry, I missed, uh, missed what the, uh, the beginning of that one. Yep, me too. I recently fell in love with passion fruit bubble tea. Nice. Sad but true, to be honest. But yeah, like I said, this game kind of scratches a different itch that SnowRunner can't. It's very similar. Like, they, you know, a lot of the same vehicles made by the same company. Some of the maps look, you know, generally the same, stuff like that, but... Maybe we got some floating rocks over here. Look at all those floating rocks. Alright. Here we go. Visit his house. Uh, okay, I guess never mind. Find the clue. Suspiciously quiet. Is he really not here? Let's look for traces near the house. Okay. 
Okay, let's deflate these tires. This is kind of a tougher climb. Doesn't help them smash my front end, but... so good. Is there really a, a task that you can start up here? I have to say, gaming with JJ, watching you play has showed me that showed me that new perspective on expeditions. Once co-op or the next map and trucks come out, I'm getting it. Oh, really? Alright, let's see if we can find any clues. All right. Ooh, at the bottom of a canyon or gorge or something. What is this? Mountains? We saw a similar place in the north. Oh no. Okay, here. Hang on a second. All right, sorry, my uh, brother came over. He came over to pick something up, which I wasn't expecting him, so. Um, let's see. We need to go from the Lodestar here. There we go. Oh, we're in reverse, yikes. Um, Mateo, maybe you could run some expeditions when you get it. Oh, there you go. should hop on the mic. You want him to say hi? Alright, let's drop. Ah, oh, man. I wonder if you could, like, ride down this big thing. Probably not. Actually, can you, can you place an anchor point? If you can place an anchor point, I'm gonna try and swing off this thing. Cause that sounds pretty fun. I don't think you could. Oh wait, we got an anchor point. Oh no, no. Well, that's a rip. Um. Let's see if I can place it down here. Oh, it doesn't even let me place it, it's too far away. Actually, that might be a total rip. I don't know if we have enough space to uh, use the jack screws. Oh, right, right there. Okay, we're good, a little bit. Definitely should. How old is your brother? Um, he would be... trying to think here. Oh no, our truck spawned into the rocks. Oh gosh, no. Yikes, guys. Uh, this truck is toast. I guess we'll just sit here and see what happens, right? Um, hello Brandon, I am doing well. I saw your chat 
I think it's gone now. Um, uh, hello, Bryce Pearl. Word. Caught less than Screepin', oh. Don't do it. I think this vehicle is toast, guys. I was hoping maybe it would freak out and then pop out of the rocks, but looks like no. Maybe we can winch our way out of here? I doubt it. Yeah, alright, let's just recover it, I guess. Let's go, uh... Outposts... North outpost... wait... Yeah, north outpost. Oh shoot, my truck's all broken up though. It's still broken up. Okay, um... You doing good? Call the CAA. Your truck just becomes a feature for wreckages, or, yeah, wreckages. Um, I've heard of that one before. Somebody did put a comment on one of my videos. They're like, have you ever used the jack screw and then spawned in the rocks? So apparently I've done that now. Actually, this stream has been pretty bad with bugs, hasn't it? We had the bug where we crashed when we were just playing. That's the first time we had that. Or maybe not a bug, but something. I don't know if you would say we made it down safely, but we made it down. It's kind of funny because it doesn't seem like that high of a, a, a fall, but when we just fell off it was like huge. Okay. Sorry, I never answered, was it Hunter's question about his age? Okay, he would be... He would be... He's 32 right now. Him and I are actually less than a year apart. We were born... 51 weeks apart. So he, he turns... His birthday is one week before my birthday. I've actually talked about this before, but... It's his birthday, and then a week later it's my birthday, and then a week later it's my mom's birthday. And it, it was my grandma's, but she's no longer here. Um, and it's actually my brother's daughter's birthday, the same day as his birthday. And then my sister's birthday is exactly six months out from my birthday, and... Her birthday is also the same day as her daughter's birthday. So, yeah. Kind of a uh, weird, uh, we got a weird thing with birthdays, apparently. Wow, that was a weird jump. That is one way of getting off the cliff. You like that, Brandon? We're trying to get from point A to point B in a little faster fashion. With it, with it being like a normal mode, it's sort of, uh... Well, it's fine, Tank, baby. It happened a long time ago. It was like 2005, so it's been like 19 years, I think. But I appreciate the, uh, the gesture, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, JJ, that means you're about my age. Uh, yeah, that probably checks out. I'm, uh, I'm 33. I'll be 34 in November. Oh, we got a reusable one. Nice, I'll take that. I'll take that as well. And we'll take all the spare parts, because we're really wrecking up our truck. 
I didn't even notice, like, we don't need to be up here, do we? Uh. No flight zone? What do you mean, no flight zone? You want me to go this way first? I'm pretty positive that the uh, clue is going to be up here. I think I can see something over there, actually. Something looks a little out of place. Grammaticals aren't so good with sausage fingers. It took me a, it took me a second to decipher that, but... So, uh, the grammar isn't great when you're trying to type with big ol' fingers. I always joke about sausage fingers as well, because I always mistype. Find the second clue? Is that, is that the clue down there? It certainly looks like the clue, doesn't it? Oh boy. Let's see, is there a nice way down? Maybe this way. We'll try it. Good thanks, nice. It's hot dog's fingers, nice. I've never heard it called that, but that works, that does check out. And I float my hands over the keyboard at that. Nice. Does that mean if you accidentally put your fingers in boiling water, it's wiener sausage soup? Or, wait, wiener sausage water soup? <laughs> I guess that would in yeah, that would imply that. Or if I was just heating up water with no wiener water soup, so just just normal water, and you put the uh, the fingers in there, you know, testing the temperature of the water, it would be sausage water soup. Ouch. I think I see something up there. It's like a sign up in front of me. Yeah, I can see it. It's telling us to go somewhere else. Where there's two cliffs and some wind? Looks like, or wind, or water. There we go, two cliffs and water between. Maybe a waterfall? Okay, way up here now. Let's see, do I have, what is this? Yar 87, let's go to that one. Using all the trucks for this one. Thanks for PC Part Picker Tank, baby. I like it a lot. Oh, nice. Yeah, PC Part Picker is uh, a good website. A lot of people use that for uh, building their PCs. It just works. No problem, buddy. Hit me up if you need any help. Tank, baby, are you... Uh Pretty uh, PC savvy, maybe? One more time. There we go. A little bit brighter. About a year ago, you built yours and a friend's. Nice. 
did you actually put everything together yourself? Like you picked all the parts and then put it all together yourself? Nice one, Tank Baby. Me too, bud. What's your specs? Mateo, you built your own PC as well, huh? Now we're going to get into everybody's PC specs. Have to go, JJ. Thanks for a good time. Catch you tomorrow. Bye, chat. Thank you, Hunter. Appreciate you stopping in as always. Have a good rest of your night. I know it's pretty late in Switzerland. Oh, wait, I missed my uh, route down. Let's see you tomorrow, Hunter. Horizon 7 3700X. Uh, GPU 6900. XT, 2 terabyte, uh, M.2 SSD, along with a 4 terabyte HDD, 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM. Oh, nice. Do you recommend AMG GPUs? AMD. I think I said AMG. And yes, I picked the parts and built it myself. Very nice. Yeah, but especially if you have an AMD CPU, everything is so smooth. keep going. It's like I could go down there, but I think there's a path just up here. Mateo, what are the specs of your uh, PC? Let me tell you, 32 gigs of RAM comes in handy with Star Citizen. Nice. Is that uh, DDR4 or DDR5? I'm assuming 5, right? MSFS. I'm not sure what that is. Would you mind explaining to me MSFS tank baby? I probably know it, but just not by the abbreviation. You have a Ryzen Threadripper 24 core. Uh, driving off course here. GPUs and RTX 3070. All I could afford in the COVID rush. GPU rush. Uh, you have 32 gigs of 3600 megahertz RAM. SSD is a 4 terabyte, or 4 times 4 terabyte. Wow. So 16 terabytes. And uh, one 500 gigabyte SSD. Wow. So you have a ton of SSD storage. That's crazy. Oh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, okay. I should have known that. Let's fly together sometime. Excuse my French, Mateo, but holy crap, a Threadripper and 16 and a half terabytes of storage? That's what I was thinking. I've actually never heard of anybody even having a Threadripper, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, 
hello owl girl. Hello Pearl likes owls. Not me having no idea what all these abbreviations mean. Uh, they're, they're talking about computers, like computer parts. Um, wait, I'm, I'm in the wrong spot, aren't I? It's in the, it's in the valley over here. Hey, Mateo, do you have any flight sticks, yokes, throttles? Anything like that? He said, uh, throttle quadrants, honeycomb yoke. You have a TQ, or an TQ. My storage is full. Problems with working and gaming on the same... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. My storage is usually pretty full as well. Thrustmaster TCA Airbus, Airbus Edition, nice. You love it so much. Um, oh my god, you got honeycomb yolk, so jelly. PCs. My dad actually got both for my birthday a few years ago. Oh, that's awesome. 32 gigs, or did Bryce ask? Is SnowRunner good with 32 gigs? Yeah, 32 gigs is plenty. 16 would probably be recommended, and then 32, I mean, you could, I think you could probably run it on 8 minimum. I don't, I don't know the actual specs of SnowRunner, but you could probably run it on 8. 16 is probably recommended, 32 would be plenty. Alright, here we go. There's the sign. Barely made that one. What is that? It's a snail. Maybe it's a bird's eye view. Wait, that's at, that's at my base camp. All right, let's just uh, go back to there quick. East outpost recover. I'm trying to think. I I actually forgot how much RAM I have in my computer. I'm I'm drawing a blank for some reason. I'm pretty sure I have 32, but for some reason it doesn't sound right. No, I'm pretty sure I have 64. I don't actually know. For some reason I'm. Can't, can't remember. Oh, shoot. There we go. Yeah, I think I have 64 gigs of RAM. I'm like 99% sure now. Ooh, got some numbers. These are the coordinates. Nice. Okay, so we were starting on our way over there. We got the pug somewhat there, but I didn't know how far exactly it was, so... Let's continue on with the pug. Honestly, never tried it. Did you try the new Dune missions? I love using it for Microsoft Flight Sim. Makes it a lot more fun. Press the Windows key and pause. You want me to check? That's good, man. I kind of need more RAM. It will give you the specs. Um, uh, hang on a second. My truck is not parked. Here, let's see. Yeah, I have 64 gigs of RAM. That's what I thought, but for a second I was like, do I have 32? I can't remember. So yeah.
The expeditions make the whole map thing a lot cleaner, more smooth, not just teleporting the camera, very smooth movements with the camera too. Glad you like it, Pearl. It's a little bit different. It's definitely a different feel for the game. You know, I'm pretty much always just driving around with a scout truck. That's a beast. Yeah, I, I paid quite a lot of money for my computer back in back in the uh, GPU rush that uh, Mateo was talking about. So I bought I bought my computer back in September of 2021. Or yeah, 2021. So it's kind of died down a little bit at that point. But um, let me check. Do I gotta go? Ooh, man, we gotta go way up to get to that. I think we can go up through here, though. It might be worth going down, over, up. Yeah, let's try that. Let's go mark it out a little bit. <coughs> oh, no, not the GPU rush. Yeah, I bought it at a bad time. Hello, Artem. Uh, so yeah, I bought a, in the, well, I'll just, so I got a Ryzen 9 5950X, which is a 16 core CPU, and uh, I got an RTX 3090 for the graphics card, GPU, and then I got 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance uh, DDR4 RAM, so it's a little bit older, because it was 2021. I don't remember how many megahertz the RAM is, though. I think it was, what is it, 3200 CL, maybe? I'm not, I don't actually remember. Maybe it was 34. I can't remember. And then I have a 2 terabyte SSD and then a 10 terabyte HDD. There we go. Wow, tank baby. Previet Artem. Previet. Alright, let's skip some time here. There we go. That rush has changed PC part picking forever. Uh, Kevin, do you also have a uh, built CPU? It sounds like you at least know a little bit about it, right? Does the game have a settings where it's more immersive, like gets rid of gas and stuff like SnowRunner? I don't think it does, actually. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, maybe I missed it. I just kind of quick went over them, but... Uh, they, I think somebody had asked if they were going to be putting in immersive mode or something like that. I think they said it, it's kind of on a list of a bunch of things they're considering. Spokane? Spokane, Washington, yeah. You're driving to Spokane, about a six hour drive? Okay. What are you going to Spokane for? You'll be able to be on stream tomorrow. Okay, sounds good, Artem. We'll see you tomorrow. Be careful while you're driving there. JJ, tell them kids to stop running in the house. You can hear them running around upstairs. That's funny. Okay, just wondering. Not sure what it's called. Yeah, they called it immersive mode in SnowRunner. Let's just uh, throw one of these over this away. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. Actually, no. Um, they do have... You can turn them off somewhere. Where is it? I saw Nathan do it on stream, actually. Maybe I missed it. Oh, here, HUD. 
Uh, you can turn this off and this off. I think. Nope, that's not it. I don't remember how it was already. Hmm. Yeah, but you can actually turn off the, uh... Turn off the HUD elements, like the tire pressure and stuff like that. I don't remember where Nathan did it. Are you sure it's not subversive mode? It might be. I'm just gonna put this just to be safe. Didn't want to roll off that rock. Alright, sounds good. You'll be here tomorrow. What's immersive mode in SnowRunner? Um, it just, it hides everything on the HUD. So the bottom right corner where it shows like your all-wheel drive and your uh, gears and all that, all that stuff. The bottom left corner where it shows everything. The top right where it has the UFO, your mission, all that kind of stuff. It just hides everything. So it's just the screen. Oh, don't ruin your game. Just curious if it does. Oops. Where am I going? What on earth is that? Oh wow. It's like uh, a... A woolly... What is it called? A woolly... Woolly mammoth or whatever? It looks like that. It's obvious that this is fake. Created by some nut. Please don't tell anyone about the find. There we go. 53,000! That took us 54 minutes. That was a pretty long one. Alright, let's go to the headquarters. When I started hard mode, I made an extra hard on SnowRunner. No third person. Oh, man. You're, I Somebody somebody actually told me I should do that as well. Do a no, no third person view. Uh, no recover, even if paid. I'm, I'm doing the no recovery one. Um, I haven't recovered a single time yet. I've, I've had a few close calls where I thought I might need to, but haven't had to. Two maps in, you gave up. Went back to regular hard mode rules. No UI would be pretty tough. But no no recover and no third person... Or, excuse me. No recover is what I'm trying to do. But no third person, no UI would be really hard. They don't be mean to the nut. They have feelings. <laughs> Does the game have a setting where it's more immersive? Oh, okay, I'd read that one. Nice specs, thank you. Totally. You just started on Lost Island on Switch. Okay, so we have... Wait, what is this? Look, guys, they added a fourth map. Test co-op. Should we try it? Test vehicle performance. What is this? Oh, no, we can't. Apex Europe. Looks like they accidentally uh, slipped something in into the game that shouldn't have been in here. That's funny. Vehicle test performance. Okay. Looks like they're working on co-op. But we have Dormant Volcano, three left. Mountain Lambreth, two left. Unshakable Island, three left. And Slip Rock Swamps, three left. Instead of extra hard mode on SnowRunner, try a game that's similar to ATS, but you make money for it, too. Try it, please. I did. It didn't work. There's nothing there. Whoop, whoop. Leak alert. Yeah. You guys got the leak on stream, I guess. But yeah, I think that's where we'll end it today, guys. Uh, tomorrow we'll start in Carpathians. We got... All of Arizona done for uh, expeditions. We still have quite a bit of percentage to go. Uh, let's go to load game, see what we're at. 51%, so we made 2% progress today. You're saying IRL trucking. I actually have both ATS and ETS. I have a lot of games that I don't play. But we were talking about, like, uh, Assassin's Creed earlier. I have a bunch of those that I've still got to beat. Um, I have way too many games. 
that I need to play. Which is why I keep saying I should play games that have an ending. Something that you can play it and then like, once you get to a point you stop, you know, like you actually beat it. Otherwise I just play endlessly. But uh, thank you Robert, appreciate that. Have a good night as well. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I do have ATS, yes. Have you ever done a zero to hero on ETS? I've never actually even played ETS. I've played ATS, but I've never touched ETS. Have a good night as well. Oh, you're asking Mateo, sorry. Didn't even see the at. Thank you, Sniper. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you, Mateo. Thank you, uh, Pearl Loves Owls. Tank Baby, Robert, Artem, everybody else here in the chat. Uh, Kevin. Who else am I missing here? I'm sure there's plenty of other people. Wild Fox, I know, is here for a bit. Bryce. Lessons. Isaiah. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. And see you all again tomorrow if you tune in for that. Otherwise, Monday, we'll be doing some more SnowRunner hard mode in Amir. So, have a good night, everybody, and see you all again soon.